what's up you guys bella is here welcome back to my channel this is on starting over and i'm sharing with you guys some of my experiences upon moving to a new location today you have caught me in the kitchen and that's okay because i mean i think that i need to stop procrastinating some of the content i've been promising you guys i think it's getting too much it's, it's getting too much it's getting too much now <laughs> but yeah this content will not create itself i have become i guess encumbered with a few more responsibilities and stuff and i feel like some of the things that just keep happening to me that i feel like will be useful to people are not being documented and so people who are going to be benefiting from this will be losing out you know what i mean so today i want to share with you guys something that may have happened to you when you just relocated because it happened to me i think that one of the things i did not particularly expect so much was I don't know if it was i didn't expect it. and i think in my last video i talked about how you know i've relocated i know that i'm in a new location i cannot now come and tell my husband that babe i can't deal with this country let's go back to nigeria but i think that the weight of everything that i needed to start from scratch with was something i did not fully consider before moving to the uk i don't know maybe my husband had been like okay fine let's go to nigeria but I don't think it was something that would make me not tell him, yo, Mr. Duruji, I can't move to the UK. It's too much of a sacrifice. <laughs> but um, the last time I think that thought just crossed my memory was like, man, you didn't envisage some of these things. I think the response that spirits gave me was, how fully prepared can anyone be? Like, how, how fully prepared can anyone be? You know, on Sunday, for instance, when we're going to church, until I have gotten out of the house, my husband would say, Madam, you are not ready. <laughs> because I'm like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. But I'm still, you know, one last thing. And even on this one, I don't do makeup. Sometimes just one, one random thing I'm just still doing. And my husband's like, Until you have stepped out of the house, you are not ready for church. And the truth is, one can never be 100% ready. And I think sometimes the devil tries to make you feel like if you had thought about this more deeply, maybe you would not have even done this. Or like, can you imagine? I'll come to career very soon. And how starting over career-wise can be such a task. But see, the truth is God gives grace. But anyway, back to preparedness. You know, sometimes I'm thinking to myself, maybe if I had done this, maybe if I had done that, maybe if I had, madam, you can never be... 100 percent prepared and so if you are feeling like oh maybe i should have given myself a bit more time or especially now that you're in a new location and by the grace of god if it's maybe school that took you to a new location or you are with your spouse or whatever and sometimes that thought crosses your mind where you're thinking to yourself did i make the right choice like maybe i should have thought about this more deeply maybe i should have thought about this more practically i feel like um if you are confident that it was god that led you regardless of how things are looking right now don't start second guessing God's plan for you, even in this midst of uncertainty, where it's like, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I saw something on Twitter the other day, and somebody said that she's at a, a stage in her, in her life where she doesn't know what she's doing. The only thing that she's very sure of is Jesus. Like, that's the one thing she's 100% sure about, about her life. Everything else, she's winging it. And I think I have been there where it's like, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. At some point when I was applying for jobs, I will share some of those experiences with you guys. And some days I'll just be like, I want to go to the library. And I'll go to the library and I'm just like, what am I going to do at the library? <laughs> I still have my Tech City work. Or like, I can't leave Tech City. I can't get away from Tech City. But, you know, in a new location, you need to also factor in a lot of things that apply to you, where you are. And it's like, excuse me. And it's like, what am I doing? Am I sure of this? Did I really think about this? Did I factor X in or did I factor Y in? Please don't mind me. But like, it can definitely happen to you. So if you are feeling like, maybe I didn't think about this deeply. And you're not feeling alone in that place. I, I, my brother, my sister, don't worry. Come and sit down. <laughs> Let's have a tete a tete. <laughs> it happens to everybody. For some people, it's a lot easier. For some people, they don't have to stress about a lot of things. But for some others, it's like, hey, Father Lord. Are you sure I was hearing you when you said I should come to this country? Or was I hearing myself? You know, but don't fret too much and don't overthink it as well. And do not give in to confusion. Do not give in to exasperation. And don't give in. Don't give in to any of that. Trust God. Realize that even I at some point felt that way. I have got, I've had friends who shared with me the struggles that they were facing when they relocated. Friends have shared with me how they were struggling to get a place to live, to get a job. Friends have shared with me how 
they didn't know the next step to take you know i have friends who came to england to study and for some it's like i don't even know what i'm going to do with this course i'm studying even though i came for master's degree you know for some people they came for master's and some are like i don't even at this point i'm in this school oh, i'm studying oh, but i don't know what i'm doing trust god you know there was something my mom shared with me some time ago i think it was someplace where i worked and it was such a terrible experience i had and you know, I was telling my mom about everything. And my mom said, you know, sometimes we individuals make mistakes. You know, as our, by ourselves, work that God did not send us, we go on those errands. My mom said, but God has a way of stepping into the situation and taking it over and turning whatever mistakes you have made and eventually makes the end good for you. I don't know if that makes any sense. But trust God, even if maybe you came here following the crowd and you have reached here and you're like, I don't know who sent me a message. If you are a child of God and if you believe in Jesus Christ, my encouraging word to you today will be trust God still. Even if you feel like you've made a mistake and you're at a point where you're like, Bella, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm, I can't even, I cannot tell you specifically that this is what I plan to do after I get my master's degree or whatever it is that I came to England for. Trust God, like trust God. Don't just be winging it without God. I'm preaching a sermon. <laughs> but like trust God, put that issue in his hands and believe that he was going to turn everything around for your good because you are a child of god right i hope that this video makes sense to you and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below forget don't forget to subscribe hey forget don't forget to subscribe and share this video as well with anyone who may be struggling at this time with starting over in a new location or who may be feeling stuck at this moment all right god bless you i'll see you in my next video bye